We were somewhere around Barstow, on the edge of the desert, when the drugs began to take hold. Welcome to Cocktails and Literature. My name is Justin, and tonight we're going to talk about Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, A Savage Journey into the Heart of the American Dream, published in 1971 by Hunter S. Thompson. This is right at the outset of the novel that we're going to discuss this evening, right in book one, chapter one, when Raoul Duke, who is a mirror for Hunter S. Thompson himself and his attorney, Dr. Gonzo, are headed into Las Vegas on assignment, and they have already, in their convertible, picked up their hitchhiker friend. I whacked the back of the driver's seat with my fist. This is important, goddammit. This is a true story. The car swerved sickeningly, then straightened out. Keep your hands off my fucking neck, my attorney screamed. The kid in the back looked like he was ready to jump right out of the car and take his chances. Our vibrations were getting nasty, but why? I was puzzled, frustrated. Was there no communication in this car? Had we deteriorated to the level of dumb beasts? Because my story was true. I was certain of that. And it was extremely important, I felt for the meaning of our journey to be absolutely clear. We had actually been sitting there in the polo lounge for many hours, drinking Singapore slings with mezcal on the side and beer chasers. And when the call came, I was ready. We're just gonna focus on the Singapore sling. I'm gonna skip the mezcal and we're gonna skip the beer chasers because no normal human being should indulge in such things. And this is even coming from me. So the Singapore sling, a plethora of ingredients, but a lot of fun, and uh, it'll get you nice and toasty. We're gonna start with one ounce of gin to get it started. Pour that in my cocktail shaker here. And then we're gonna do half an ounce of Luxardo Maraschino Terry liqueur. published by a quarter of an ounce of Cointreau, triple sec, something to that effect, an orange base liqueur, Grémonier. We're gonna do a simple uh, little triple sec here this evening, quarter of an ounce. Quarter of an ounce of Benedictine as well. Uh, there will always be the word Dom on the front of Benedictine, made by some monks. 27 ingredients in total. 21 of which are public knowledge, the other six are not. Grenadine, a little pomegranate liqueur uh, as a uh, non-alcoholic base, and this will be our sweetening agent, but one of the two sweetening ag agents in this cocktail. We can do a quarter of an ounce of this as well. This is Jack Rudy, made here in Charleston. Dash of Agnesaur bitters, just one. Half an ounce of citrus, I'm doing a little lemon juice this evening. You can do lemon, you can do lime, however you want to do it. This is lemon, because I prefer it. And then followed by a topper, and again, another sweetening agent of four ounces of pineapple juice to top everything off. No simple syrup is needed or sugar is needed in this cocktail. The sweetening agents are going to be and cutting the acidity of the lemon is going to be the pineapple juice and the grenadine. Take this over ice in our cocktail shaker and then strain it over some fresh ice. And there we have it. Garnish it with a little or a large pineapple. And there it is, Singapore Sling, Gonzo style. Hunter S. Thompson, Fear and Loving in Las Vegas. Salud. Read the novel. Enjoy the cocktail. Cheers.